Hey, buddy, Jim from Jim's Holy is the March has arrived. You know, things are really, really starting to move. You know, last year, uh, if you're following along, you know, last year I had a bit of a, tr uh, a problem. Really wasn't sure what it was, whether it was uh, I got a bad patch, a bad batch of Jiffy Pods. I did buy some aftermarket Jiffy Pods by bulk in a uh, plastic bag through a, uh, an internet buyer. Um, and I'll never do that again because I really don't know what I'm getting. And that, that's a shout out to my friend Sherry up in Canada. She had, you know, sort of opened my eyes that you really don't know what you're getting. I had that happen a couple weeks ago. I bought some coffee that's supposed to be sealed beans. And it came in aluminum uh, in like a sealed pl a plastic silver bag with a stamp. I had no idea what it was. So... Anyway, uh, get off the beaten track there. Anyway, um, so this year, things are looking 100% better. Um, I'm really thrilled. I'm actually getting a little concerned because I'm hoping that March, April is really mild so I can get these out into the, into the outdoor greenhouse. I do have a heater, but um, we'll see what happens. I'm really impressed with the, the way they're growing this year. Things are really, really going. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy, Joe. I, I can't any more, uh, any more adjectives than that. So you know what? Let's uh, let, instead of me describing, it, let's take a look at them, and I'll give you some tips if you're if you're following along, if you're long, if you're at the same point as I am, or if you're a little before behind, so forth. Just some general tips. Again, with coleus, I, I want to stress to everybody how simple it is to grow them there's really not a lot of sign you can it's almost like you don't want to overthink it um if you're a horticulturalist of course you you know so much more than you know the in-depth the chemistry and stuff like that um but and that's all and that's all well and good but you know i try to stick with the basics of light moisture warmth light light particularly and just a light fertil fertilization. I, I guess that's the best advice I can give to anybody who's growing coleus, whether from seed or if you go to the store and buy one that's already grown. Um, and I'll get, I have plenty of videos upcoming on that too. Once you do, if you do buy coleus, how to care for it, how to trim it correctly, and how to make the most of it, and so forth. But the key is moderation. So. Uh, things are really looking great here. I'm, I'm already up to 10 trays. I'm slowing down a little bit. I'm waiting for these other this other batch to start to grow. A lot of them are close to the point where they need to be separated, but they won't die. I'm giving them a little bit of, of this mixed in, like a cap full in a quart of, 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 of water. Room temperature water. Don't use ice cold water right out of the tap because that can shock a lot of the roots and so forth so pour it out let it let it get close to room temperature uh and again i put about a cap full of this this is actually liquid uh, the jiffy pods come with a powder so you just follow the directions but you don't want to overdo fertilizer period with coleus they don't need a lot but using fertilizer definitely makes a dish uh makes a difference later on with, when we get into miracle Grow and so forth, and I'll get into that a little out of time. But anyway, gave it a little bit of this, keeps them going, and uh, before we know it, we'll be out in the greenhouse, and that's when the real magic happens. And I can get out of the house, outside, so we can get these beautiful coleus, which will be a lot bigger, um, out into the sunlight where you can really appreciate the beauty. So let's go take a look at the trays. Okay, I'm going to just step back here. we got eight. So I have a total of 10 trays. I have two over there on the rack. So uh, again, I use these catering trays. This is the system I've done over the years. I'm sure there's a better system, but for my situation, my bay window and these two racks here and a very understanding wife, um, I'm able to, um, to do this year after year. So um, three and a half inch, nursery pots these are the soft nursery pots again i'll have the link in the in the video if you want to purchase them um they're very inexpensive and i use them year after year if you don't i just did a video on how i clean them but anyway three and a half inch pot these trays hold about 17 pots generally have two coleus per pot some of them may have one 
Uh, I'd love to just grow them in one, but I just don't have the room. So I have to do it with the two. And by the time they get really larger, I'm outside and then I can actually, but at that point I'm creating my pot. So anyway, let's, let's really take a look at these. Um, at this point, I, I do know what some of them are. There, uh, I, I try to stay, now there are hundreds and hundreds of varieties of coleus and there are new and new, there's more and more new ones coming out, patented varieties, so forth. I, I try to stick with a few of the of my favorites and people's favorites at the the uh, farmers market but you can see some beautiful color coming in this is a great crop this year i'm really excited i really am last year was really it was i just it was just a terrible year that started off horribly the plants were not as as beautiful as i've grown in the past but you know what we move on we live and learn there's bobo hanging out with us here um, but a lot, I, grow, I grow a lot of Kong Reds, a lot of Empire Kongs, Wizard Rose Kongs, uh, Scarlet Kongs, Crimson Golds. Uh, there's, it looks like a Jitters there. Um, some of the Dark Reds or, or the sort of like a Jet Black. They, they still have to develop. Um, but you can see a lot of the color. And look at that. That's a, that's a pretty sure, I'm pretty certain that's a Kong Red. Uh, that might be a colossal marble. Uh, I do label them, but they didn't get mixed up because I then I sort them out once I get them in. I, I, I know the seeds I sow, so it doesn't really make a difference to me. Um, I love them. It doesn't matter. Not sure what that is. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, it's more like a scarlet Kong, crimson gold possibly, uh, rustic, trusty rusty maybe. That uh, looks like it's starting to get into like the jitters. So, um, tr a lot of trusty, rusty, um, rustic style. A lot of beautiful color. Look at that. Might be a Darth Vader in there. That looks like a wizard rose coming in because of the white and the, per and the pink. But it's still early yet. And of course, this... Where are we? There we go. We know that's not a Darth Vader. I, I'm almost certain it's not a Jitters. It's not a Scarlet. So uh, what I did plant, I plant. And here we are. These are Fairway Mosaics, I believe, or like Christmas Candy. Christmas Candy and far, Fairway Mosaics, similar. There's so many sub-varieties. Um, hey, Mark, I'm reading you. It's a shout-out to Mark over in England. My... Uh, you you are no longer my Padawan, Mark. You are now uh, you are now like Anakin, but a good Anakin, not an evil one. You're you're doing really well over there in England. Uh, Mark uh, and I become friends on Instagram, and he grows a lot of coleus over in England. And we were just we had a conversation about um, there's so many varieties and the names of them. And I, I suspect that coleus names, some of them, are sort of like mattress names, or mattress labels in the United States. You can go to Sleepy's or whatever they're called now and get a Serta, a, a Serta Hotel Comfort Sleeper. And then you can go to Macy's and find the exact same mattress. And it may be called the Serta, Serta uh, Sheep's Dream. And it's the same mattress but they got new different they have their own labels that they sew on so mark i, I suspect that um a coleus named one thing here in the states may be a uh a different name in england perhaps or there's again there's so many varieties and i try not i try that's, and that's another reason why i don't grow a lot of different coleus because when people do ask you would hope that, you know, they, they maybe expect that you know what variety is. But there's there there are so many varieties. Um, and, and, and every year I try to purchase newer ones uh, if something really catches my eye. And I have expanded like, Saturn's Defiance, Colossal Marble, um are amongst a few of the newer uh, varieties that I, I grow a lot of. 
not so much the Colossal Marvel this year. I did grow a few of them, but um, I really decided to s stick with, a, I, I try to grow a lot of the Kong, Kong Reds, Wizard, uh, Wizard Rose, because they, they make the best pots at the farmer's market. I got a lot of these uh, reds, either the uh, jet black or the or the red, uh, sort of like a wine red color. But you can see that might be like a Christmas candy right there. That looks like that may be a Christmas candy. That's a Christmas candy, I believe, as opposed to a fairway mosaic. So you can see it has similar traits, but there is a difference. So um, I don't get, I really don't get tied up in knowing all of the names, especially with the Kongs. There's some Kongs that are very difficult to, to uh, differentiate, like an Empire, Kong Red, uh, Scarlet Kongs, and so forth. So um, I, I really don't get too hung up on it. So I just really enjoy growing them. Um, I enjoy the anticipation of getting outside and separating these again, creating hanging baskets, creating pots. I have some pots over there. I have a whole bunch of pots in my greenhouse outside. I enjoy sitting outside, putting some music on, relaxing under my awning, creating the pots and watching them grow and then eventually selling them at the farmer's market and you know if you're interested in doing that you can do that yourself you can and you don't have to grow 500 coleus if you want to do a a craft fair say and just grow maybe a hundred or 300 I mean this right here is about um, 300 I guess you could do the math I'm not gonna do it off the top of my head I did but we got um, eight trays times 17 pots each pot has two coleus so uh, you do the math and you can see, and they will eventually grow and fill out well, and then I'll be able to separate them once, one final time as I pot them, and some of them will stay, and I'll sell them individually. I call it like a grab-and-go tray, like some of these. I grew a lot of the fairway mosaics, and you know some people might just want to buy them and make their own pots up or plant them in the ground, what have you. So I offer a little of everything at the farmer's market a nice variety and here's the other two trays that those are jade kongs and they have yet to show their true color uh, jade kongs are basically green and then you won't see it now and that's another thing with these young coleus is if you don't see a lot of color coming in that's a wizard rose don't worry at this stage they're just showing their colors they're going to grow into beautiful beautiful colorful coleus but that'll have a sort of a white lattice up the center. And it's really beautiful. So I, I, I grew about 50 of those. And of course, these are the Kong. Uh, these are, I think these are all Wizard Rose. So these are the other two trays. And I got Adam this beautiful bay window, faces the ocean, faces the water, faces the sun. I don't have any obstructing buildings so I get good sun here all day and I have the grow lights grow lights are set to go off at 10 o'clock at night so these can rest and of course I have the fan still going all of that makes a big difference watering now you can see some of these are kind of dry I'm gonna I'm gonna water these it takes a lot but it's not complicated I have my watering can here and we will just give it a shot of water. And I'll go through this, and I will only water these every two days or so, depending on the conditions. If we get a very sunny day, they may dry out pretty fast, but they don't need a lot of water. Um, you dig down, and you can see it's still kind of moist there. So we don't want to overwater coleus. If you think you're overwatering your coleus, stop it. Give it a day or two rest. If the coleus seems a little drawn out, like washed out in color, that may mean you put too much water. So just skip a day or two. You can see I got some fertilizer pellets there. Very light fertilizer at this point. 
we don't want a lot again moderation that's the best advice i can give you there's a nice kong red coming in and another that is a christmas candy as you can hear bobo at the door so uh things are they're really doing well and i just organize it. and another thing i do with these trays really quick is i rotate the trays top to bottom front to rear they face naturally like all plant plants they're going to follow the sun so i'll rotate them around up and down back and forth so i get them a lot i get myself exercise and i give the coleus exercise okay so you know i think i i, I grew a little bit too much this year i can never say that um anyway i got some bluebell terrainias in the back there uh, terrainias are, are similar to coleus only by by virtue of the way you plant the seed they they have to they need light warmth and moisture to germinate and these grow into fabulous little bell flowers and what i've learned i've been growing these for a few years and i'm trying i'm really trying to perfect them they need a lot of sun and last year i got a lot of them going really really well uh, some of them passed, uh, I say passed on, some of them died on me. They're a little, I want to say they're difficult to grow, but you really need, they need a lot of sun. And that means a lot of uh, regular watering. So I've yet to pot those. They still have a, a ways to go. And as you can see, I got a lot of fairway mosaic still. And this is the next round of coleus that are going to get potted. I got some. Uh, reds in the back there are, might be some Christmas candy and then I have this tray here I have some vegetables in the back and just a handful of uh, of the surprise mix that I sent if you purchase seeds from me uh, this is just a surprise mix I just kind of threw them all together so I got quite a few coleus still yet to get potted along with the 300 coleus that I have here out on the trays and you can see I have the overhead grow light and another grow light. Again, both of these will be in the description. If you want to purchase one, that will take you right to the link to buy this. I think I, this exact one is on the link as well. So check that out along with the Jiffy Pod trays, the nursery pots, the uh, fertilizer I use, and so forth. So check it out. <laughs> everybody so uh so as you can see things are really coming along and and uh i'm i'm you know i say it every year last year i was really down about it i was trying to stay off the um i was trying to stay optimistic um but this year i'm i'm really uh at a comfortable 
I just feel very comfortable with the way these coleus are looking. And it's been, it's going to get milder. The next two weeks or so, it looks like in the 50s here. Lots of sun, which is great. And that's also year to year different. Depends on what kind of winter, late winter, and what kind of spring we have. Uh, how sunny it is and so forth. So every year can be a little bit different. And with coleus, light is it. Light and, and warmth, but light is so important. Your coleus need light and not necessarily direct sun. Again, I had mentioned they, there are coleus that can grow in direct sun. I do grow some, but in general, like I say, moderation. Coleus like everything in moderation. Light, sunlight, it's good to, little bit, to get a little bit of sunlight. It's good to get a little bit of shade. A little bit of water, not too much. A little bit of food, a little bit of fertilizer. So moderation is the key overall. If we can learn that through this whole process, if you're following along with coleus, they're very easy to grow because they don't require a lot of anything but just enough of all of the things that I mentioned throughout all my videos. So, all right, so more, lots more to come here. Jim's Holius of Coleus. Can't wait. I'm trying to think how many hanging baskets should I um, should I get this year. I have a few left over. Uh, I have some pots, but how many hanging baskets? How many window box planters? They went like crazy last year. The year before, not so much. Um, so that's what's going through my mind here. I'm always a, a step ahead. I'm always another month ahead. I have to, otherwise I'll go mad. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned. We got lots more to come here in Jim's Holiest of Coleus. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. Next video is not too far off. Take care, everyone.